Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hardcore Fab Shop. Well, we're gonna try to do it again this week. We are trying to shoot a car show. Now, we shot one a few weeks ago that was a complete epic fail, and that's okay, because sometimes you've gotta to fail to learn some stuff, and learn some stuff we did. And what I learned from that video is that you guys would really rather see the show more from my perspective than just seeing a bunch of cars flash on the screen, especially if I flash them real quick like I did in the last one. So anyways, we brought Hookers and Blow down here to Tulsa, Oklahoma to the Daryl Starbird Show. This is the 60th annual one, so this is going to be a good one. There is a ton of action going on down here. We've got flamethrowers, we've got mini bike racing, we've got pinstripers, we've got pinup girls, we've got hooning, we've got rat rods, we've got hot rods, we've got about any kind of car that you can think of here at this show. So sit back, enjoy the show. Let me know what you think of it down below so I can use your guys' feedback to try to make it even better next time. We made it hookers and blow is set up right here on the corner so we got a pretty good spot for it right there if you guys have not been down here to the tulsa show daryl starbird show before there is 11 acres i think under this big giant roof right here there's a little lower level here which is the area that we're in kind of down here on the end and then right here it steps up and uh upstairs there is all the uh shiny stuff and we'll go up there and check some of that stuff out surely there'll be some cool stuff to see and then down here like right here behind all these bricks is the arena area where we got some uh, fun hooning and burnouts and all that kind of stuff indoors. Yeah, so that's pretty awesome. There's Gertz Ratworks. And um, we also got um, Rat Rod Magazine set up over there, a bunch of other stuff. So let's uh, just walk around and see who all we can run into and uh, what all we can see. Oh, we got some super singles on the back and some littles on the front. You guys know I like that vibe. This thing's pretty cool. Inside of it's all decked out. This thing is all handcrafted, it looks like. This little trailer here is way sweet. I love the patina on that. That would be a really cool ride. Car to go along with it. Got Vinny with Sledgehammer Customs over here. How many other people standing on their ride at the car show? Not very many, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think. How you been, man? All right. Yeah. Good, good. You want to be on video? I'm You're on video here. now. I right. know. <laughs> no? Okay, well. Check out some of the stuff that he's got going on with his car, man. This thing is awesome. I love this car. All the little detail stuff. I mean, just the end of the frame rail. Who does that? I mean, that's awesome. Duck's even got new fur. Duck does have new fur, doesn't it? He got burned off. <laughs> and you got new flamethrowers. Check them out. Let's check out that. Look at this firewall. This firewall is just crazy. All hand formed copper. That's just badass. And back here is the flamethrowers, the new ones. Yep. Well, have you uh, shot them off to see how far they'll go yet? Propane does good. Like, we didn't make getting the fuel to them. But yeah. It'll do good on propane. Yeah. Probably like 25 foot. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. You got it all tied back in under here. It's yeah, crazy. Yep. Check out the inside of this thing. That's the propane tank. Where's the propane tank? I got it right there right now. Oh, in the bag? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. A little child seat. Oh. A steering column. 
shifter handle. There's just too much on this thing to see. You could probably look at this thing for days and still be looking at new stuff. Most rare tag you'll ever see. That is that is way way zero. cool. Where'd you find that at? Off of no barn. Head screwed to a barn. Really? That's crazy. That's crazy. We gotta go back and check out your trailer and stuff too. Everybody, a little better look at the car. all the detail even just in the trailer it's crazy crazy is the only word I have for it just 68 charger tail lights on the back 68 charger tail lights on the back sure enough and the little wagon on top Oh, here we go. We got a new little track, too. I like that. Camshaft. Camshaft down the center. <laughs> Endless creativity with this guy right here. It's never ending. He's got so much stuff going on. You got some trophies over there, too, that you've made. Yeah. We're going to check those out here in a little bit as well. Cause... I wonder when you get back to Eddie, he's got the Grant Rangers stuff in the fence traffic. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> we'll come back and see you in a little bit. Yeah, he's just endless, endless stuff. I mean, like I said, everywhere you look, even the intake and stuff on this, it's all etched in there. That's, uh, that's what I need to do with some of my stuff. I need to put that level of stuff into that, so... Getting putting stuff on you so officially. You're getting officially here. <laughs> yeah, the back one's right on the own. There we go. Don't set your duck hair on fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He already changed the duck here, he said. <laughs> Flip this thing around and show you guys how low this car is. It's like belly button height on the top of the roof. All right, I got to get some video of this because this is just craziness happening right here. I'm all about this kind of stuff myself. You're just not gonna go anywhere and see this. I'm not even sure what it is, a Honda? Is it a Honda? Yes, it's a 72 Honda. 72 Honda? It's 72 Honda, but not your normal 72 I guess, Honda. I guess if I could read, I would know what it is because it says it on there. Was this here last year, but just not in this condition? Um, I can't tell you. I, I think it there was, was a yellow Honda here, but it had a uh, LS in it. Yeah, but I, it might have so been working progress. I don't know. Maybe they've cut it up and did some more. The old International's pretty cool. Slammed all the way to the ground. Looks like some artwork by Mike. Yeah, some cool artwork back there. Check out the Model A with the Hemi in it. That's pretty sweet. Got the uh, chrome covers in the front, open headers, it's pretty cool. Love the artwork on the door. This is pretty wild right here. We got mad respect for all the effort that went into modifying this thing to make it look like this. It's a lot of work and then try to make it look pretty on top of that. All kinds of random stuff around through here. There's some good art. Oh, 
we'll just we'll just make a few passes up and down the aisles here and see what we see. Everything here deserves a mention. It's all beautiful. Yeah, there's lots and lots of stuff, but we don't have time to cover every Everything. one of them. No, no. Kind of give everybody a quick the whole, look. Whole channel week after week if we did that. Yep. Lots of flake in that one. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera or not. Probably not. You like some pinstriping on that? Yeah. I like the tilt front end on that one. I like the chop top and like the, the, uh, the patina on that one. It's kind of a different flame on the front of this one. Yeah, that's cool. It's a flame inside of a flame. This bad boy's all the way down on the ground. It'd be fun to do one of these and just have it for a little cruiser around town. I've got some pieces and parts of bodies. One of these days I need to throw one together. Julie's over there getting some TikTok video action going on. If you guys are not following her on TikTok, it's uh, isn't yours still just that rust life? Yeah. And she's posting random stuff like this on there all the time. Here's some more craziness happening. Look at these skulls. Got some pretty good flames that come out of those, I bet. Lots of different stuff going on inside here. <laughs> that pedal car yeah, is crazy. What, what all's going on here is just crazy. Too. Yeah, this is wild going on up here. I'm assuming there's an air cleaner in there somewhere. Maybe it's just the one on the on the front there. I don't know. Well. Yeah. No, there's some little ones inside there too, I think. It's a good looking car. I do like the wagon. The wagon is uh, pretty sick. Might have a little bit of Fotino going on there, mixed in with the real stuff, but I still like it. Bubble Fender Chevy, LS in there, probably an S10 chassis, I'm guessing. We've got some nice suspension underneath there, from what I can see, so. Yeah, I can't see enough to tell you if it's S10 or not, but that'd be my guess. I think this one's here to do some burnouts, if I remember right. I think it did some last year that was pretty wild. Get you a view of the other side there a little bit. Nice looking Camaro. I really like these signs. That is cool. Think I could get away with those shoes? I think those shoes are totally you, babe. You should get those. Which ones? The ones with the teeth or the cherry bomb? Um, both. <laughs> I can't imagine walking around here for three days in those. Ooh, my feet would be killing me. I really want one of these signs. Yeah, they're beautiful. How much are they? They're probably too much. I'm a cheap I'm bastard. 125. That's not horrible. That's not horrible. Really not bad. Talk about a chop top. That's a long top to chop right there. I guess this one is too, actually. Lots of cool stuff over here too. Look at this barrel. I'd love to have the shop clear full of this kind of stuff. If I only had, if I only had the money. <laughs> There's more around there. 
There's more on the back. We'll go check it out and see. Money and talent. All way cool stuff. I really want one of these barrels. Lit only, 125. 300 for the barrel. Man, I'm such a cheap ass, but I really want one of those. There is also a little bit of a swap meet here that goes along with this show, although it's not a very big one and there's not a lot of people here, but a little bit of stuff. What'd you find? This thing, I don't even know what it is. That's what you think you gotta have, right? So we don't know what on? I believe, oh, that. Put a lantern in it or something? I don't know. That's it's really heavy. It's different. Ask what it is. He's outside smoking. Oh. So you learned what it was. What is it? It's a, like a tea light candle holder for like outside because it's heavy. So that way it doesn't blow away. Gotcha. But I don't even know if we have any trees with branches that are that strong. So we might. I know a guy who might be able to make a thing out of some metal that will look cool. Like a Do I know him? Uh, I think you might. <laughs> His name is Ted. Ted. He's got a Ted blacksmith. the blacksmith. Yeah. <laughs> Do like the little camper. This truck's pretty sweet. And this one you guys probably remember from a video just not too long ago. We had when we went down to uh, Gertz Ratworks and bought some of those side pipes that he had, or those stacks he had, we we're going to turn into side pipes. Looks like he's been out in the field somewhere. Got some mud picked, backed up on her. The sun was terrible that day. We didn't get a real good view of this thing. Get you guys a little better view now. I can't get far enough away where you can get the whole truck in there. This thing is huge. It's got to be, man, it's got to be at least 20 foot long wheelbase on here. It's long, long, long. Way, way cool truck. And then, across the street over here, this one's even longer. We've got the uh, stacked up Detroits over here. I'd really like to find a set of motors like this. This would be really cool to put in something. Double superchargers. This one does not have the turbos on it though. This bad boy is a million miles long too. I got a turbo 350 overdrive and I don't know, is that a Detroit? Is that one that is too? I don't think that's a Detroit. I, think that's, I don't know what that is. I'm not cool enough to know inside here looks pretty good kind of like the short little look on the front of it it's all kinds of stuff down inside there I don't know what it all is It'd be kind of fun to pop the hood and see of course we've got the pig on the front we've got this wild bug over here I really like the old cab over Ford here. This thing is pretty neat looking. Big long stretched out frame. This would be cool to make into a rollback or something. Just a wedge truck or whatever. Got a big block in it. 
all the way down to the ground. That's cool. It looks like it'd be pretty comfy inside. It's a way cool truck. I'm setting up the Rat Rod Magazine booth. There's nobody over here. And Pretzel, we got Pretzel. How's Pretzel doing? Whoa. Tracy working hard. <laughs> I love this thing. And Jerry's car from Rat Rod Magazine. Got Jerry there talking to some people. We can go over here and look at these trophies. So I'm not really a big trophy guy. I don't uh, go to car shows to try to get trophies and whatnot. I know that's some people's goal, but I could really care less personally. But now having that said, these are not your standard trophies. These things are all pretty cool. They're all little mini pieces of art, really. And I love junk art. I love, you know, stuff that's got to be creative like this. Like I said, those plastic trophies and whatnot that you get at a regular car show or something just plasma cut out with a sticker on it or whatever. I mean, who really cares? But this stuff right here, this is all way, way cool. I love every one of these. They're all unique. They've all got their own little personality. And like I said, they're basically their own little piece of art. Um, every single one of them. This one right here is the one that Vinny did that uh, I was going to show you guys. I had seen it before as he was working on it. That thing is really, really cool. All of these are so cool. I hope we get to take home one of them. And not because of the trophy side of things, but because of the artistic creative side of things. So the highlight of the weekend, without a doubt, is definitely getting chosen by Rat Rod Magazine to get some pictures taken and be in the magazine. So what you guys are seeing here is us actually pulling out in the arena area so that Jerry can get some cool pictures of hookers and blow. So yeah, you're going to have to be watching in all the new magazines uh, coming out soon. I don't know when, I don't know where, I don't know any of that kind of stuff, but hookers and blow should be in an upcoming Rat Rod Magazine. So how freaking cool is that? I might throw out there too, they just released the magazine that has the coverage of Rat Stock and the Rat Rod Tour in it. And it is the biggest magazine that they have put out to date. It is 100 pages or so, I believe. And for those of you that don't know yet, the Rat Rod magazine has virtually no ads in it and is all color and is all good quality material paper and everything in there. It's a really, really quality magazine. So if you guys aren't getting it yet, you're definitely going to want to. And you're definitely going to want to now because you're going to get to see hookers and blow in there. Anyways, we still got a bunch of cool cars to look at and a bunch of events to cover. So let's get back at it. So I've seen this bad boy over here. We had to come over and check it out. I'm pretty sure it's a Factory 5 truck, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like their design. Got an LS in it. I bet it handles really pretty good. 
you know, what the front suspension is actually off of to make this thing work, but uh, it looks like it would handle good. They should have enough motor in there to blow the tires off. Hopefully they'll be hooning with this thing later. Check out the inside real quick. Got some aluminum buckets in there. I'm liking it. It's pretty cool. Got some gasser action going on over here with these trucks. See a big blower sticking out of the hood of that one. And then they're chopping the top or something over here. We'll have to go over and check that out. And then we've got uh, some more blower action going on over there. We definitely want to see that too. Let's look at this Willys real quick first. The thing is way cool. Oh yeah, look at the big tires on the back. Same thing as hookers and blow. No, old crow, sorry. The sun coming in through those windows is kind of harsh on the lighting, but uh, this is way, way cool. Super clean car. I watched the flame show that this thing over here did last year and it was wild. Hopefully they're going to be doing the flame show again this year. This thing puts on one heck of a show. I can't forget the bus bus is awesome blower sticking up through the hood it's actually decked out with seats in it where you can give people rides can't forget the low rider bicycle action we got going on over here Couple sweet trucks. Couple cool hot rods. How about a slammed forerunner with bright pink paint? Not exactly something you see every day. We can walk around here and look at that. So this is the same as Julie's forerunner. I think we should do that to yours. What do you think? I would never make it on the farm that way. <laughs> Actually, this is uh, older. This has got a removable top. That is a mini truck action at its finest right there. So I'm not a big fan of El Caminos, but I'm digging on this one. Nice and low with chop top or drop top. Pretty cool looking. This bad boy sitting here with two motors in it. Two big blocks in it. Wow. pretty wild I got some mad respect for this car it looks like it's the real deal back from the old days I dig on that hey how's it going To get over here and check this one out. It looks like it's been on fire. I don't know if that's uh, maybe an accident from flamethrowing contest or what's going on there. Ooh, this thing's actually pretty wild looking. It comes in it. Yeah, that um, that's been hot. That's been really, 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 really hot. and that wasn't the look that they were going with to begin with but um 
It's actually kind of neat. Probably would have to clean the windows a little if it was me, but. No radiator. I'm kind of curious about what's going on there. I'm not much on shiny paint, as you guys know, but uh, if I was to do one, and we might be doing one here pretty soon, this old Chevy here, the old Bel Air slammed to the ground with a chop top. We got lace on the roof. I really dig all that. It's a good looking car. Again, all of these are way cool, but I'll just give you guys kind of a quick look at what they look like and go from there. I don't have a whole lot of time left and I want to give you guys a better shot of what's going on. Ooh, truck's over there. We did miss this one over here. This one reminds me of Corey and Hannah's truck. Or just Hannah's truck. I don't think Corey's got any claim to it. See if we missed anything else over here. Well, this is pretty cool. Some nice bead rolling going on in there. Barnwood floor. The old topless Thunderbird here. It's kind of neat. Oh, look at this one. This one was hiding over here in plain sight. It's also got a hand formed body on it. It's got a little turtle deck lid on the back of there. That's cool. And a little 4BT. There's my wife walking over there. I guess I need to go catch up with her. She's looking for me and don't know where I'm at. So this is more my speed over here. I really do like the C10 trucks. And there is a whole bunch of that kind of stuff over here. Love the firewall. Oh, I didn't even notice the firewall. The firewall is pretty cool. It's beautiful. I like the uh, painted valve covers and stuff too. It's pretty neat. It's got that expensive grill in it with the lights or the little covers that slide over under the grill. That's pretty cool. I like the shoes. Yeah, the wheels are good. The interior. Yeah, probably, probably too dark. Yep. No, I can kind of see it. Yeah, man, your phone sees it better than I do. <laughs> this thing, like that. I like this one too. I like it seats also. Those look comfortable. Yep. Unlike the original. TMI seats. Some Detroit Steely wheels on there. Slammed to the ground on the step side. I'm, I'm into it, 100%. Good. This, this thing's cool. Oh, Ford's cool. All kinds of different stuff through here. Make sure we're not missing anything on this other side. That old Buick down on the ground is neat. That thing is all bare metal and it looks really, really good. I'm assuming that's bare metal or is that paint? Uh, maybe that's paint. I guess that's paint. They're getting ready to fire up all the little mini bikes and mess around here, so it's gonna get loud. I won't be able to talk to you guys, so we might go to a little time lapse here and just kind of walk through what's left over here and check some stuff out.
one of the awesome things about this show is there's a bunch of artistic talented people here so the car show is taking advantage of that and they're putting on some of these panel jams and what happens here is we just take some random panels and they take and switch the panels out every few minutes with a different pinstriping artist and they each get to put their own kind of spin on things and it ends up turning out to be a really cool panel when it's all said and done. They do this numerous times throughout the weekend and then they auction them off. The money raised this weekend went to a charity that helped uh, get service dogs for wounded vets. So pretty awesome deal. Hopefully music in this one doesn't mess me up here, but uh, let me give you guys a peek of what all they got going on over here to chop this top. I'm actually looking at this setup right here. This is kind of neat. We've got an AirPod off of like a semi, and they've got that hooked up to the lever on the back of the shrinker stretcher. And then they got a foot pedal for it right there. I'm really, really, really digging that setup. I might have to steal that idea. I wish I had that bad boy right there, that deep throat stretcher, that'd be pretty awesome to have. Anyways, we'll come back over maybe and check this out later and see how far they get with the chop.
Well, guys, that's a wrap for day one. And uh, before we go, I want to mention we got a uh, upgrade on our parking spot here in front of the uh, Rat Rod Magazine booth. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah. And don't tell Julie. Don't tell Julie about this. Too loud. Coming through. All right, we're back again for day two. I thought today we'd go up here and we'd check out some of the uh, stuff up here at the top that's uh, show and shine. There's a bunch of cool stuff up here. Kind of give you guys a quick once over. I can't show you everything up there. I've only got about an hour before they start playing all the music and stuff and making a bunch of noise. So I'll just show you some of the highlights that I think are pretty cool and uh, we'll go from there. So one of the things right off the bat up here at the top, they've got an evil Knievel thing going on. So uh, we'll go over and check that out, but we've got to be quiet because they're doing some stuff over here with Richard Wallings too, so. That's fine. Can I just walk right through here? Well, I guess that's about as close as we can get you guys right now for that. Uh, maybe we can come back up later and get a little better shot of the cars. But pink Cadillac's pretty sweet. Of course, we've got to love General Lee. And pretty much all this stuff down here through the middle is all beautiful, beautiful stuff. Nice, nice Camaro. This thing's pretty wild. So there's a lot of stuff up here. Like I said, there's no way that I can actually go through and like show you guys every single thing up here. Oh, look at this kind of wild looking bed over here. Flip this around. It's not everybody's favorite body style of vet, but I do actually like that style myself personally. I think I actually like it better than the new C8. A bunch of you guys are probably giving me a hard time about that, but that's all right. It's all good. And uh, K5 Blazer, pretty nice right here. Anyways, let's uh, move on up here and we'll see what else we've got. So, really nice C10 over there. There's a bunch of really nice C10s here and you guys know I'm a C10 guy, so that's pretty cool. Um, here's all the stuff that uh, here in the middle that is all Starbird stuff. Really cool to see all that stuff, see how they did that back in the day. Over here is the uh, gas monkey set up over here and they got their C10 that was actually out at SEMA here. So we'll go over and check that out real quick. Now see some of this other cool stuff back here in the background. Try to get a little walk around of that here after a little bit. This is the one that they did and took out to SEMA here a few months ago. Really pretty nice truck. If you guys ever question how good some of those builds are from TV builds, I mean, this thing's pretty straight. I'm not gonna lie. Inside the bed looks pretty clean. I'm not really sure about the color of the interior. I might have probably picked something different than that. But the actual diamond on the cake here on this one is the grill. If you guys have not seen this grill yet, this grill is insane. That grill is actually one piece built aluminum that was all CNC cut out. I think it costs her somewhere around the $30,000 neighborhood if you was to actually try to get one of those done. Definitely a different level of build than what I'm used to. Can't spend anywhere close to 30 grand on a freaking grill. But uh, it would be nice to get to that point someday. Some more cool stuff here. Yeah, I'm gonna walk over here and I'll flip you guys back on. So all these cars that are just beautiful show and shine I've got like total respect for them for real because I've done the work I understand what it takes to get all these to this level but this is a type of stress that I just don't want in my life I really really don't I do not want to have to work on one of these too awful much I don't want to have to have them in my shop to worry about getting messed up I don't want to have to worry about trying to store one and keep one and keep it in this kind of condition this 33 right here is on another level. I grew up looking at these kind of cars, all the Chip Foose and Boyd Coddington and those kind of cars that are all cleaned up, smoothed up, chopped and laid back and everything. And these cars were, you know, already kind of had that vibe going on with them anyways. And I always figured that that would be something that I'd want to build at some point. And 
I gotta be honest with you. I still do. I really, 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 really like that car. Then we got stuff like this right here. I'm not even sure what this is worth, but I'm sure it's well past my abilities to buy. I would uh, probably have to have an armed guard sitting here if I had this thing. I would uh, be scared to leave it without me being able to keep a close eye on it. I'm not sure who's pricing all of these, but uh, I think I'll probably try to buy every one of them. Those prices are right up my alley. <laughs> I don't see anything here that I would not buy. Oh, back up. I don't want that one. 56. Yeah, I'm out on that one. Oh, I'm out on that one too. 64. Yep, that's not me. 200? Yeah, no. I changed my mind. We gotta go back over to these other ones. This is a little bit more my speed. <laughs> the the T bucket for 360 bucks. Yeah, I'm, I'm in on that one. Again, we got rows and rows of just beautiful stuff and a pretty good mix of about everything. We've got, you know, Chevelles and Model A's and square bodies or OBS's and a Fiero and a Subaru. I mean, just endless here. And then right on up to your bro trucks over here. And then this really, really clean Mustang. Oh, and then we've got uh, Micah's uh, Hummer over here full-on custom you guys seen that here on the channel I think she's finished up some stuff on it we'll uh, talk to her see what else she's finished up since she's uh, worked on it last or since we've seen it last the trophy girl. <laughs> yeah. there's the trophy girl huh <laughs> John John just uh, John Diagostino he grabbed me when I was walking by yesterday and he's like I need you to be my trophy girl and I'm like okay so yeah um, and you know most of the time like out in the shop I'm just like overalls and I'm dirty and uh, so I don't actually get to like glam up or like show my feminine side except when I come to car shows and and uh, so I'm like I don't think I've ever been a trophy girl but it, I, I tried she to rocked it yesterday well I tried to think how let's say okay you've got to have the leg yeah, kind of cross right. like something that, like this that, and what, then what's the name of that girl from from the Price is Right that was so popular I don't oh Vanna, Vanna White oh, yeah no, that's, that's, oh wait no that's that, that's Bill of Fortune but she's yeah. the same thing yeah the whole so White, I was like I was supposed to open the trophy box and like, you know, like this and, you know, it's probably, <laughs> anyway. Anyway, tell us what you've done to your Hummer since we've seen it last. Well, um, that's what I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to think. Um, I know, I know I don't I think you had glass in it, did you? I didn't have any glass in it. And, um, so, and I don't know if I even had like, the new wheels. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't have the wheels on it. Okay, so. I'll start oh yeah. With the glass. So the the glass. Um, I'm not even sure I had this channel in um, when we were at Stray Cat, but um, I finished that up and um, used um, this felt from uh, steel rubber, just a uh, universal felt. Yeah. And then um, the glass. I first I made templates, and then uh, rather than have um, the laminated glass that I was afraid would crack, they sent my templates uh, to a larger glass company, and they made tempered glass for me. Sweet. So, um, and it just slides out, and like this one, I have a, a half glass, so, um, you know, if it's cooler, uh, but, you know, not not super cold, but I can put my half glass in, still go through the drive through and get my coffee. And have coffee, options for... Yeah, coffee's so important. Yep. Um, and I don't take the back glass out very often. Um, it's like really really tight it does come out but the back glass slides forward because you know you've got this taper like this so yeah you got to. only can, one way it can yeah. go and um anyway i just pull it out i told you it's very tight yeah you don't have to pull it out okay. we yeah, get the yeah. idea so that new sub in there that's uh that's definitely new yeah um kicker's one of my sponsors and i think when we were at stray cat i said I told you in the video that I was the next day I was going out to the kicker uh, headquarters to meet, That's right. meet yeah. my sponsor and so uh, right after Stray Cat we went there and, and it, the, they have a fabulous facility they gave us the whole tour and tour great people and so I I ended up with the 15 inch sub I've got a couple sevens I have two eights two eight oh. subwoofers up there didn't see those yeah oh yeah sure enough and um 
I still have to make my kick panels for the front and put some six and a halfs in it. Um, but yeah, I can just rock and roll going down the road. And, uh, Even over that loud exhaust? Yeah, I mean, I have earplugs for my exhaust and then I just turn the radio up a little bit louder. There you go. <laughs> may not hear it, but I can feel the subwoofer in my back. So right on. that's like a massager going down the road. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. But oh, my glue came close to that. Um, yeah. <laughs> and um, and then of course. And then the wheels. Yeah. So uh, U.S. Wheel Corporation, uh, they're one of my sponsors, and these are their 20 by 9 uh, Rat Rod series wheels. Okay. And um, they're like super great. I my, my guys, he's like, um, he's like, I, he said I think Rat Rod wheels would look best on it. And he said I'm going to powder them, powder coat them OD green for you. And I'm like, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. they look awesome yeah. on there. And. U.S. Wool Corporation was my first sponsor, and I did, and I had almost given up on them. I sent them, you know, several emails, and I would just, you know, give them updates every two or three weeks of what I was doing, and and so I sent an email, and then he's like, "Okay, I'm ready," uh, and I was like, "Yes." And um, <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, yeah, big great. steel wheel, no problem balancing the tires or anything. It's just, you know, it's and and see now I put almost uh, seven thousand miles on it since um october yeah, yeah you yeah. drove it to sema and yeah. then to florida too right yeah um so i drove it to sema and back from missouri and then i went to the pri show in indianapolis oh you, i forgot that you yeah. did that okay and, the, and, the, and that was only like an eight-hour drive uh one way and then uh the day after christmas i went down to orlando to work at the meat auction uh and uh, drove it down there and back in january and um it's it's done great. I haven't had any problems. Oh, it was really good seeing you. It was so good seeing you. Oh my gosh. I think if we live closer, we just have so much fun. Yeah, we'd be causing trouble. It was good seeing you. Yeah, I'll give you a hug too. Okay. You, know, <laughs> you guys are great. Yep. Talk to you later. Okay. Bye. And we got about every color of anything that you can imagine going on here too. Heck, we even got Caprice on hydraulics. A little bit of juice flowing under there. Barracuda. I want to get back over there to the pickups. You guys know I'm a truck guy. We'll see what those trucks are real quick. We've got the slightly lifted 72 over there. And we've got the square body version of my green dually. Although he's sitting on some semi wheels. I need to get me some semi wheels for that truck. One of these days, one of these days. This thing over here, it's got a bed liner or something on it? I don't know. Yeah, anyways. Moving on. Super clean old Elko with a uh, LS in it. How about the first gen? I'm not a Dodge guy, but I would drive that. That's a good looking truck. Oh, we got some, some more juice over here. What is going on back here? This looks like it might be rowdy. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, check out the pumps in the back of there, all hand carved. The lady on the stripper pole holding the hood up. I do like that. Well, hopefully that gives you guys a pretty good idea of what's going on up here. A lot of good, nice stuff.
but uh, I'm gonna head on back down there by the truck and down where our stuff's at. Thank you.